What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If you're a movie fan or an audio and video fan and want to keep up with what's new in 4K content or AV tech, hit the subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for review, we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on 4K Blu-ray. I won't be reviewing the movie, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie is animated, it's rated PG, runtime is 117 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1, so if you're watching on your television, you will get those black bars. This is probably going to be a short review, because not too much has changed from the iTunes streaming review that I did earlier. I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you missed it. I felt the main difference between the physical copy and the digital stream was a more refined, tighter image overall. The edges of each line seemed cleaner and crisper and just sharper. The parts I thought that I'd seen some slight banding on the 4K stream were absent on the 4K disc. Although there is some intentional banding due to the animation style. And speaking of the animation, if you've ever looked at a comic book up close, you'll see the look of this has that newsprint style, where colors are made up of small individual dots. Sometimes the colors would bleed over the illustrated lines and almost look as if you were watching a 3D movie with the glasses off. So this movie can seem a little blurry, but again, this is just the animation style they went with. Whether or not you'll like it, well, you'll just have to see it. HDR usage here is in HDR10 and not Dolby Vision like the digital stream. I think you'll be fine watching either version though. Colors have that bright, bold, almost psychedelic vividness which does pop off the screen. If you love bold HDR colors, I'm sure you're gonna like this movie. Officer, I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? Audio is in Dolby Atmos, and right off the bat, sonically I found the disc to be superior in every way. Low end bass extension was noticeably more robust and had a harder hitting impact with Chapter 4's goblin fight being a standout. There's some decent Atmos effects full of ambiance and musical bleed through in the high channels, but I didn't think it was overly aggressive. Soundstage was cleaner and more detailed and open, and the pop music was more dynamic as well. Dialogue remained clearly intelligible without any issues. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 9.5. This is a fun audio mix with a decent level of height effects and discrete movement within the lower channels. Bass is demo worthy with some excellent infrasonics. You will shake your house with this mix. For video, I'm gonna go with a 9.2. This was a more refined version of the digital stream. It's a little sharper and a little cleaner overall. If you're watching on a smaller display, you may not notice much of a difference. But if you've got a big one, I'd say go for the physical copy. If not for the video, then definitely for the audio. Now, if you're interested in grabbing this movie, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know how you felt about this animation style. Follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content and giveaways, then stop by our Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys again in the next video.